Hey guys, and welcome back to the Hobby Dude 007 channel. We're home from our event from Squad Room last weekend, prepping for the next one. But I had an opportunity this morning to run by the Hobby Shop and pick up a few things I ordered. And I want to share those with you. So let's take a look. Many of you know my daily driver is a 2001 C1500 Silverado with a lowering package on it, and uh, there's been some modifications for the horsepower too, <laughs> but uh, uh, I have a lot of fun with that, and when I heard that the 92 Silverado was coming out from uh, AMT, I went ahead and told uh, Doreen at uh, Mason's Hot Rods and Hobbies, uh, my, my local hobby shop, go ahead and order me one. And uh, I know this is different being a 92, but what I plan on doing is grafting from the 99 Ravel issue, which is the same body as mine, grafting from the firewall forward onto this truck to make, uh, to make it short bed like mine. Um, but I was eager to get this truck, uh, as I understand, based on what I see here, I don't think it has an engine. That That's an easy thing to remedy, but I think I would make it a more of a curbside for my shelf uh, since it's my truck anyway. But uh, it's got the little plate down there. But I, I don't know. I may turn around and just do a, um, a full detail on it. I, I don't know. I, I was thinking about just having it as a, as a shelf model. But... Um, cool kit really cool kit so i had to have one of those and it's got the wheels i have on mine as well so uh um we'll get into that uh next up i had ordered a um one of the snap together mustangs and the reason i got this one was if you remember well let me go ahead and cut this thing open i had well the resin Mustang, I want to call it a sedan delivery, but the wagon, if you remember this from a few weeks ago, I showed you the, the Mustang, and it is designed for one of these uh, Revell Snap Together kits, and I just wanted to check a few things out here, so let's get over here, get this, the chassis out, I'm not worried about the interior quite yet, I know uh, it's based, well, you know what, let's just go ahead and, I'm going to have to cut this open, sorry guys. Alright. Uh, of course, the interior, well, the dash isn't in it, but it looks like, looks like that's going to work pretty good. Of course, I'm going to cut off right back behind the seats and, uh, modify it for this but this is what i wanted to check it said it was made for this so let's uh well, it won't go up in there but oh check it out in the bag that's a very very nice fit right there hmm yeah, that's a pretty cool fit. Let's look up front. We'll center of the wheels and tires up there a little bit. Now that is cool. Only thing I'm not sure about is I may have to trim a little bit off of the sides. You see how that uh, lip rides out there on both sides. Well on both sides just a little and once the interior is in that may or may not be the case but uh, I'm liking this and again I have an idea for the for the body uh, as far as the paint goes the paint scheme and all that kind of stuff but anyway so I picked that up also got um, on the same video if you may recall I uh, showed a resin body I had for the, and it escaped my mind there for a second, what, uh, what the name of it was, here it is, the, I was going to say, uh, Rare Flow, hey, I would have had it right, the Rare Flow, which is a combination of a Testers and, um, Jimmy Flintstone, 
and I had mentioned I think I had a set of uh, or I had a set of uh, wheels in mind for this well while I was at Mason's I went over and picked them up so let's see how these are gonna look real quick this rare flow I've got a, a color in mind that I think will make it quite a show rod my buddy Trey, Rar Trey Larkin mentioned that he had done one of these and done a, uh, I think it was a ghost type paint scheme on it. And um, I look forward to coming up with something that's a little higher profile than I was thinking. But you know what? I may be able to, I'll do a Ricky Couch on that. And I'll explain that to you later too. That's a good looking wheel though. Alright, so that's out of the way. I'm going to keep these in the box with a rare flow. And something else I'm going to do be doing a, a product review on. I picked up while I was there as well. And I already had a few things, but uh, I had ordered some uh, AK Chrome because I've never used it. Now, you guys know from my uh, previous videos, I have done... Uh, product reviews on uh, uh, both the brush on and the airbrush green stuff world chrome and this is the airbrush right here um, which is was good stuff but as you remember I've been using all clad for probably pushing 15 years right when it first came out is when I started and I've been sold on it. I, I've used it. But while I was there, I picked up a few other things. If you remember from one of my other stashes, I picked up some of this. Uh, this is black chrome from Testers. Well, while I was in there, I picked up something I didn't know they had. And that is silver chrome. And as it says, bright reflective finish. Well, never even heard of Testers chrome. So we're going to be doing a product review on both of these. Uh, I'm going to have to do some check and see if this has to be over a gloss black base like uh, all clad and the green stuff world. Um, the AK, as I understand it, does not have to be. Um, let's see if I can get this. I haven't even had this open yet. so. But we're going to give it a try. We're going to try it on, on the base and we're going to try it... Uh, Super Chrome. I like the sound of that. So, uh, you know what? Let's take a look. Wow. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is... That is... Let me take the camera down here a minute and move it over to the light. Well, look at the inside here. That's Chrome, guys. As I understand it, this stuff... Check that out. Ooh, I'm going to look forward to shooting some of this through the airbrush. I have heard nothing but praise for the AK. Uh, I'm surprised I haven't tried it before now. But we're going to be trying that on a bare plastic, which I understand it goes over beautifully. And so I'm going to be giving that a try. Uh, many of you guys have already tried this stuff, and that's great. That's fine. And the other one I picked up, which finally came back in stock, is the Ravel Chrome. I've seen this up close after it's been used. I've never tried to use it, but um, this stuff is impressive. Um, I'm hoping I have the same result that I've seen uh, other folks have. And I, as I understand it, this can go straight over plastic without a base as well. But we're going to be trying that out. Um, if it's not the next video, it'll be probably one or two after that. But I've got to prep some stuff uh, first, but we'll be trying the AK. I want I really want to try this black chrome. I want to see what that's all about. And, of course, the silver chrome, which, like it says, a bright reflective finish. So we're going to see. I didn't even know this one was available. Something else I wanted to do was I wanted to try the Rust-Oleum. Um, I'm not sure about some of this stuff, but because I've never used it, but eh, we'll see. And Matthew, uh, Model Car Videos, he had the same idea as I do. I think he just got something from, um, uh, go back to one of his last haul videos and he'll have it in there 
which, what brand it was, but to do the brass. And this is called Gold Metallic Reflective, which I have no clue. I'm going to try this. I'm going to decant some of this so I can control it better. I'm going to put it over a couple of different bases. And I want to see if we can get that, that you know, for the vintage cars from the teens up to um, into the 20s, you had a lot of brass on stuff. You had a lot of um, the gold tint stuff. So I want to give a shot of that and see how that turns out. So we're going to do some experimentation, and I'm hoping uh, the stuff that he had, uh, I'm eager to see how, it, how that works. And the last thing I picked up was some more Allclad. And um, I picked up another bottle of, I think I'm down to a half a bottle of the Bright Silver um, Candy Base Coat. And I don't remember if I've showed you, and I also picked up a bottle of Orange this is the candy orange enamel and it's kind of hard to see let me get this white box behind it see if that shows anything but this is um, uh, ALC 704 which is candy orange enamel which I love orange anyway so we're gonna we're gonna be giving the orange a, a try over the base and if I didn't show you before if I can find it here, yeah, um, in an old box. I tested some of this uh, candy stuff some time back, and yeah, here we go. This is the, the bright silver base, which is not quite chrome, but it's, it's, it's close. Uh, nice shiny silver, and this is the candy base coat. And some of the other colors that I have that I tried out, and I did a thing in Scale Auto way years back that just tested these out. This is, I think that's just the red over it. Kind of gave that reflective uh, finish. There's one of the purples. I mean, that's just a rich, beautiful color there. Um... I want to say this one was lemon. There's two different yellows. I want to say that one was lemon, but I'm not sure. But you can see it's a, it's a candy color, so you can see the different colors, or excuse me, the, the silver kind of through it. There's the ruby red. And guys, I didn't buff or polish or do anything with this. This is just straight out of the airbrush right onto it. Yeah, that's the red and then the ruby cool huh um and then i mocked up this uh hood uh part white and part silver and we'll be testing that too there's uh another one of the hoods that i just did in with the purple i think that's the same color there that one is and let me think let me see if there's any other colors down here oh yeah there's the blue and there, I think there's two different blues as well, but check that out. Is that not just beautiful? So these candy colors really are good. Uh, they're finicky to, to shoot because every little piece of trash shows up. So uh, make sure you, you dust off really, really good. And yeah, it looks like that's all the colors that I tested. There's the other fender that in silver that I'll be... Uh, testing on and there's some white and I'm probably gonna try the same colors in different ones just to see how they do and you know what this may be what I did with this one is two different you know what the hood here is a little bit lighter than the fender so that may be two different I can't tell from this side but anyway I really, really am eager to try this uh, orange, and uh, I'll, I'll show you how that goes. And let's try to see if I had any other colors in there. And then, of course, there's another hood that I've got split that I'll be doing. Uh... No, that's all the panels that I had done up just to kind of test them out. But I'm looking forward to seeing how that orange looks. You know, that lemon is not. And I'm not a big yellow color, but boy, that was southern, wasn't it? Yellow! <laughs> That's not bad at all. Anyway, 
and the blues they also do one that's a cobalt blue which is a deep rich blue it's a little bit darker than this candy blue uh, but it, it really is a, a pretty color i shot it on a, a corvette and if you go back into my shorts you'll see the corvette that this was uh, shot on okay i think that's it guys so we'll be doing a product review on the um the revel chrome the testers chrome and the ak coming up uh, appreciate you tagging along on this one very much. Hope you all have an awesome weekend. Remember, God loves you. I love you too, man. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.